Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 20. Now if you want to download this workbook here, uh, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 2, or the PDFs or the PowerPoints, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to see how to multiply and divide fractions. And I'm actually going to start over and do some hand stuff. So we want to take, um, first we'll look at multiplying. And multiplying, we'll do 1 divided by 2 times 1 divided by 4. Actually, I'm going to grab this little pen here. And all you got to do here is we say equals, and you just multiply the numerators and then the denominators. So over here, it's 1 times 1. And here we have 2 times 4. And that equals 1 eighth, right? Uh, what if we had a different one here? We had uh, 6 divided by 8 times 2 divided by 12. All right, we simply uh, draw an equal sign. We say 6 times 2. And on the bottom, we do our denominators uh, 8 times 12. So that will equal 12 and um, 96, if you can do that calculation there. Now, we want to be able to reduce this, especially if we have these in Excel and we do uh, straight multiplication, we need to know what the reduced fraction is. All right, this one's already reduced as far as it can go. So, All right, you might you might want to come down and you know do one of those long little things we did for finding prime factors, but I'm going to try and do it uh, in my head here. So. Uh, 2, because it's an even number. 2 divided by 12 is 6. And then 6 still has a 2 and a 3 in it. Now, you know, 96, we might actually want to come over here and write. Or do it, we learned that Excel trick for finding out all the prime factors that was pretty cool. So 2, 96, that would be uh, 40 and uh, 48 so 48 plus 48 is 96 yeah okay so we got a 2 there again you could do this on your calculator in Excel it's much easier in Excel this is an example when I'm trying to find all these in fact escape well let's see I have to uh, right click oh no here wait a second I can alt tab so in Excel we can build one of our little uh, templates here here will be our number and here's our prime factors. And so there's 96. And uh, I'm going to type a 2 here. And uh, equals this divided by this. OK, so all right. And so that is even. So we can do another 2. And we saw in our last video how this is a relative cell reference. So we can copy it down a bunch doesn't matter, divide by 0. We're just going to keep trying. Because this one's asking the question, well, this divided by that. Well, I'm going to put a 2 here because it's still even. 2. That's still even. So I put a 2 here. That's still even. 2. That's still even. This is great. Uh, 3. And then I put a 3. And as soon as I see a 1, these are all the prime factors. So I can highlight there. And we learned uh, last time there's an eraser button. Formats. And clear all does formats and content. One, two, three, four, five. So five twos and one three. So I'll go back over to my, uh, and let's see. So instead of doing that, I think I learned that there was an eraser last time, right? So I can erase all that. So oh, maybe I can leave it there. All right, now I'm going to put my pointer. All right, so I have 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these cancel. The 3 cancels. Oh, and 1, 2, 3. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So this equals the same thing as above, 1, 8. Now there's other ways to do this. You can also do it this way. 
The reason why I show this way is because for complicated ones, this is kind of the, the most full proof. Here's another way. If you're multiplying, well, we can just go, uh, well, we're multiplying. Here's a 6, and you know, notice how we canceled a 2 and a 3 here, but a 2 and a 3 here. That meant if we multiply them, it would have been a 6 and a 6. Well, if you notice that there's this is really 2 times 6, right? And this is a 6. You can actually cancel it here, cancel this, and leave a 2. And now you can notice, well, oh, yeah, there's a 2, there's a 2. When there's nothing in the top, you put a 1. I should have mentioned that up here, right? And then uh, here is an 8, right? So certainly, if you can do it this way for one like this, it's easier. But this method, where we list all the prime factors for uh, complicated ones, it certainly uh, is helpful. So that's multiplying uh, fractions. Now, dividing, and actually, if you go look at the PDFs, so the PDFs, I think, uh, so the PDFs, I actually list the rules here, right? Multiply numerators, multiply denominators, reduce fractions. So there's the example here. And then uh, dividing fractions. Well, you can go ahead and divide them straight in Excel, but um, this is what dividing would look, on, look like on paper. Um, and the trick is, is that when, as soon as you see a division, you just invert this, flip it. So the, here's the numerator, the denominator. A numerator, denominator, uh, that you just flip. And then you do straight multiplying. Uh, 6 times 2, 12 times 1. And then what's anything divided by anything? It's 1. So over here, right, so we have, um, we're going to do 6 divided by 12, and doop, doop. 1 half, and that's equal to, oh, 6 divided by 12 times, and then I flip this, 2 over 1. So that's equal to 12 over 12. Anything divided by itself is 1. All right, let's go over to Excel. All right, um, so when we're multiplying this, we, we do need to, to know how to do that, to know that this should be 1 8. So I'm going to straight multiply this. So equal sign up arrow times up arrow up arrow. Control enter. Oops, I shouldn't have had that. So I think I accidentally left all of these with number formatting. Let me just get rid of that. All right, so then we need to know it's 1 8. Now we could go try the default. We saw that before, and we see it's a 1 8. Um, or you can come straight down here. You see that default always has a mixed number. And if you don't want that extra space, just question mark slash question mark. All right, now this one, if we go back over and uh, we saw that it was 12, when we, when we multiply this, it was 1296. And in fact, I think I'll do this two ways. If you want to see the reduced fraction, right, you just straight multiply them. And this is where doing that on the piece of paper and see that it's equivalent to 1 8. Whoops, I did not mean to have that there. I thought I just of all that. All right, so now when you if you do this, you're like, oh man, okay, I'm just going to apply the, the fraction format. Maybe you don't know what it is, right? So you go to the this one, and you see one eighth, and you're like, oh man, I do. Is that right? Right. So that's where multiplying on a piece of paper, reducing the fraction. In fact, it's reducing the fraction that tells you, yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm going to click OK. Now, if you wanted to see 1296 equals this times this, control one. You could try, I'm going to just do it. We learn how to do this 1296. There's two digits in the top, two digits in the bottom. Um, question mark, question mark, slash, question mark, question mark. Now, notice what it's doing here. I'm going to click OK. It still shows 1 8th. And uh, there's some extra spaces because we put question mark, question mark. It's going to reduce it. So there is a trick. If you really want to show 1296, is you control 1. You come down to custom. And I have, it's 12, so I'm going to put 
question mark, question mark, slash, and then you just type the 96 in. Now you've got to be careful with this. It will display that way, and if it's an input number that you're going to use in subsequent formulas and you want to see the 96, that's fine. But that 96 is hard coded into this formatting, right? So it's all, whatever you type here, it's going to show it as a fraction of nine, 96 in the denominator. I'm going to click OK. So those 12, 96. All right, now dividing. Let's go ahead and divide this. We saw that when we divided it, we got 1, right? Equals, there's the denominator divided by, I'm sorry, it backspace on what I said. The C2 is the numerator, that's on top, and the 1 half is the denominator, right? I hit 100, oh, enter, and it's still got that number format, 12 divided by 12. Now that'd be fine if you want to show that there, but control 1. If you want to erase the number format, you use general, and it will show as 1. Right? So if you want to show that 12 over 12, you come to fraction. Right? And you click through these. None of them are working. Oh, look at this. And there's not even a built-in 12 one. I look through these. OK, so there's tenths and one hundredths, too. Sometimes in bonds, you want to show them as that. So this is where you'd have to come down to custom. And there is no 12. So you type a question mark, slash, and 12. Actually, we want 2. So the 12 had to be typed in. I, I searched through that whole list of fractions. I didn't find any built-in one that would express it as a 12. So I come here and I do that. Now, just out of curiosity, let's do, no, oh, no. So there, there's that one. Now, let's show that multiplying is exactly the same. I'm going to say, because look, what I did is I took that and put it there. And then I inverted it. 2 divided by 1 is 2, so I'm, now I'm just going to multiply them. And uh, that already has the number format applied. All right, let's do this uh, last division here. And I want to point something out about division, right? This is 5 divided by 0.5, or 1 half. If we were to do division, that's 0.5. 5, actually, let's do an experiment over here. 5 divided by 5 equals this cell divided by this cell. And then I want to change this and s notice something. And I'm going to add some formatting here. OK, so 5 divided by 5 is 1. But what's 5 divided by 2? 2.5. What's 5 divided by 1? Now notice I'm going down. I try to 5, a 2, a 1. Now, as soon as you jump into a number between 0 and 1, what's going to happen to the answer? Because right now I'm saying how many 1's are in 5? Well, there's 5 of them. How many 2's are in 5? There's 2.5. How many 5's are in 5? 1. But if I type a 1 here, if I go down below 1 and type 0.5, which is like saying a half, how many 0.5's are in there? This answer is going to be bigger than 5. So anytime you start dividing something, or you have a fraction with a, um, a fraction in the denominator here, that number is going to get bigger and bigger. Because you're asking, how many 0.5s are in there? Well, there's 10 of them, right? Same question here. How many 1 halves are in 5? Well, there better be 10, right? So equals this divided by this. How many 1 halves are in 5? Well, if there's 5 1s in there, and a half is a half of 1, then that makes it 10. Now, I don't want that format there, so what would I do? You know, I could just come straight up to general and show uh, general. Uh, all right, so a little bit about multiplying and dividing and some number formatting here. Uh, remember, um, multiplication, you just multiply numerators and denominators. And for division, you invert or flip that second number there and then do straight multiplying. All right, we'll see you next video. Oh, one more thing. Uh, that's section 2.4 is multiplying and dividing fractions. So you can do some homework from there. All right, next video we'll do uh, converting fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. All right, see you next video.